Okay, we are busted good in Rise of Kingdoms. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's find out in this video because I just max kill her. I have done two live streams where I showcase a little bit Kayura and what her potential is, at least in Sunset Canyon. So I want to go ahead and expand in this video and give you in-depth and more details about Kayura because I really believe that she was very underrated when she came out and probably very underrated later on. I'm going to show some reports in Sunset Canyon at least that might just shock you and change your mind a little bit about Kayura in Rise of Kingdoms. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. My name is Legend Ronnie and today I'm gonna have Keira Commander Spotlight version 2.0 or at least I'm gonna do a review video for Keira because since I max her skill to be honest I'm having so much fun with her and I'm enjoying smashing players with full legendary setups in Sunset Canyon you have no idea. So I'm definitely going into detail in this video more about my setups and what my plan is and everything that I'm using how I'm empowering her to be so good in Sunset Canyon and also going to give you some advices where she might be useful for field battles in some situations. First thing first, before I'm gonna go more in depth and talk about Kira, you might wanna know how hard it is to obtain. You can only obtain her from the Seroli Crisis. So going on to her skills and trying to press plus on her sculptures, it that says over here, Seroli Crisis. It's only from this event and right now is running. So I'm just going to show you on the shop. You can get 50 sculptures of Keira. That would be 10,000 coins each time Seroli is around. Now how expensive is to max skill epics? I'm going to show you in just a moment. You have it over here. 440 plus 10 to summon her. That's 450. So it means that at least 9 times you have to just buy only Keira in order to max her skill. Which obviously that's not what I've done, it's not, that's not what I'm advising to buy from this shop. Unless you have an unlimited supply of speed ups and materials, then you shouldn't worry about that and you can go for Keira. But my recommendation from this shop is number one materials and number two is the speed ups. And don't forget number three, that one teleport. Because hey, you're just spending 300 coins, you don't have to spend 150,000 credits to buy from your alliance shop. So this is a very good <laughs> advice and a very good tip. Make sure you always buy the teleport. You're probably noticing that I didn't bought all the speed ups. That is because I had to buy more Keira in order to max kill her. So I can do my testing and my videos because honestly, I'm waiting for so long to try her out and it was just crazy. So now I finally got her max. She was level 60 for quite a while. Now that you've seen for how long it takes to max kill her, I really hope that they will add more ways how you can obtain her because I see her a very potential commander in KVK1 and KVK2. This is another thing that I want to talk about because, hey, where I can use her, she's an epic. Right now I can only use her in Sunset Canyon and I find her really good in Sunset Canyon. I've done two live streams where I did showcase a little bit about her potential and what she can do in Sunset Canyon. By clicking on her, you're noticing that she has full epic gear except the accessories because that's what I'm trying to empower. I'm trying to empower a skill damage as much as possible. Ring of Doom and Pendant of Eternal Night. So how about that? <laughs> crap ton of skill damage going on to her four skill this is what triggered me to try to go and use her in sunset canyon and the second thing was her expertise reading her expertise it says damage dealt to each target is reduced by 15 percent this is normal for all the aoe commanders in rise of kingdoms targets 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 also take damage over time 200 damage factor for two seconds. So basically she hits three targets at a time. Now all those three targets, they take the 1000 damage factor, which is reduced by 15% for each additional target. And if you hit three targets, they also take 200 for two seconds. So that's another 400 on each target. That's pretty big from an epic commander. This is why I also believe, and I also really recommend her in KVK1 and 2, but I had to show at the beginning of the video how hard it is to obtain. Because I am going in like, what, KVK6 or I'm right now in KVK7 when I'm finally maxing her. And that's kind of tell you that 
is not very easy to max her. You either sacrifice speed ups or materials to go for her and have a nice epic, which honestly I always thought she's a nice epic. And if you go back and watch the videos when I done her commander spotlights when she was released into the game, I did mention Kavra with YSG. I see that as a very nice pair in combination for maximum AoE damage and AoE potential. Because when you look at the four skill, she has a 10% chance to increase your skill damage bonus by 80% for 3 seconds. That is freaking insane when you want to think about it. Now imagine that you also have Dring of Doom. And I'm not saying that both of them will go in the same time when you want to pop a skill. But you have very high chances that at least one of these will be on when either Kaira or YSG will do a skill damage. So that's empowering their skill damage quite significantly. Plus the 5% skill which gives you a guarantee. 5% skill damage. What I would change to this setup is obviously going for the legendary set because four pieces of the legendary set give you 3% guaranteed skill damage. So that's even more skill damage. And I would replace the pendant with Horn of Fury. I would definitely want to empower their rage engine. And I was mentioning about KVK1 and 2 and that's exactly what I would use her if I would have her max. And definitely, but trust me, and definitely you don't want to try her in KVK3. The moment Attila is released or virus or the new nuking commanders are available, like in Light vs. Darkness, that's a no-go. So me personally, I'm definitely never going to use her on field battles unless I migrate to do some KVK2. Then 100% I would use her instead of an L Cid. Even though an L Cid is legendary and does give you mobility and what else, a lot of protection to your marches, I would still go for Keira. Because her AoE capabilities are insane. Now that I have tested her in Sunset Canyon, I'm really speechless about how powerful she is for an epic commander. I'm gonna go into the talents and I'm gonna show which talent tree I use for her in Sunset Canyon. Currently, that I have on her on Sunset Canyon, I do have Latin Power because she does have the small damages, which I believe they are additional damage. Hey, for now, I'm going with Latin Power. If you're not happy on using Latin Power, then you can definitely go and put some more attack, maybe get one or two pieces from the full quiver. I wouldn't go for the normal attack. You don't really do a lot of normal attack with Keira, but you do skill damage. And this kind of tells you how much I want to empower the skill damage of this march. I even went with Naked Rage. It's the first march in Rise of Kingdoms where I use Naked Rage in a battling situation or PvP situation. Because Sunset Canyon is still PvP situation the only time i used naked rage was on genghis when i was doing uh, arms master lohars and that's pretty much about it but now on her because the skill damage power that they can do together the aoe skill damage is so high that i even put naked rage the only downfall is that being an archer march they are not very fast and i'm gonna show you the sunset cannon lineup that i'm trying right now and I'm going to show the Sunset Cannon lineups that I was trying before I've done this video. FYI, my alt is in KVK2 and we're going in KVK2 and I believe that I'm very close on maxing Keira and I believe I've done a mistake of not maxing her. And I probably need to wait for another Seroli. And I'm so sorry about that, that you have no idea. I'm probably going to have to go on my alt and check, see if I can buy more sculptures because I know He's like one skill away as well on maxing Keira. I'm going to see what I can do about that, but maybe I can try on my alt and try Keira in KVK2. And then you can have even more insight about how powerful she is in KVK2. So the current lineup that I'm trying her is this one. And I know it looks a little bit weird. I also have 50% chances that this lineup is going to work. I have Saladin and William because I need a rage engine. I need something that buff me rage. And since William is max, it's also going to grant 20% defense. So it's not a big loss of not having John of Arc. You only need to make sure that William is going to hit two targets. If it doesn't hit two targets, then it might not work so well. I might need to change the position to make sure that it's going to hit two targets. I put Adolfled and Constantine on this spot, which again, I'm not very happy about it. I think a one-on-one, -on -one, probably anything can um, take my Ethelfled down and you really want the Ethelfled debuff. But I'm just trying to see if full power will work and not having debuffs and buffs, except William a little bit. 
see how this one will work. But like I said, I have 50-50 chances that this will work. And the reason I put Artemisia in that corner is because when I get attack from side, like the player wants to go head on, not four on one. I hope you know what I'm talking about. Then uh, my Kaira is going to shift on the top side. So the maximum target or the maximum AOE she can get is from two marchers. While Guan Yu and Alex, may they rest in pieces, they will be in the middle of those four marchers. I'm not sure how long they will last, but I just need them for the buffs and debuffs. The buffs from Alexander and debuffs from Alexander and debuffs from Guan Yu, Silence, etc. And Artemisia is also slow, it, which means that Keira will be able to catch up. So they will both start in the same time or whichever opponent is going to hit them first, then Keira will most likely be able to catch up. If I do something like this, which will make sense, and that will be the second way how I want to try it out, Adamflat is very fast. She will get there, she will start hitting, she will start generating rage, she will start popping skill, and by the time Keira gets there, my opponent marchers will start hitting with skills as well. So you might start to losing troops number. This is one problem that I have had in my other tries. Now my initial setup that I was having on this side was Etherfled with Barka. Make Barka great again. And honestly, it was working pretty well, but they are kind of weak in defense. So even with the legendary equipment on infantry is still not enough. There's not enough defense or damage reduction to make this march very strong. Plus again, because of Etoflehis, the Parcher is just charging and they start getting pounded by the time Keira gets there and starts generating rage. So for that reason, I'm putting Artemisia in there. But I can show you how my previous setup was working great. And obviously instead of Saladin and William, I had Constantine and John of Arc. But right now I'm trying this setup with uh, Constantine, see how that will work out. And obviously I'm probably going to talk more on live streams. Make sure you tune in on the live streams because live streaming is what I'm going to do for the rest of the month. And now I'm going to go into the history and show you how I've done with Barca. Obviously loss, win, loss, win, loss, win. But hey, I'm still wrong too. So over here, I was attacked by Jack. This is Keira and YSG. You're noticing 31,000 kills. So definitely very good. He did one couple of times, but look at that. Keira and YSG, 29,000 kills. Even more than Etherfled and YSG together. But again, Etherfled and Barca. So I think that was my whole downfall so far. If you want to use the same setup, like for example, what I'm using right now, you can do Etherfled and Julius Caesar. Even if your Julius Caesar is not maxed, you can put Etherfed and Julius Caesar in the front. You put Kevra and YSG in the back with your strongest archer equipment. Then you have Constantine, John, and whatever you want to put behind Constantine and John. Recommended would be a Guan and Alex in a solo march, something very tanky. That can also work. It can also work really well. Because Julius Caesar can give you the protection you need and make your Etherfed last longer. And then... Uh, MD attacked me five times because he couldn't believe that, you know, Keira up, Keira down, and there you have it, look at that. Keira, when the RNG on works on his finest, 40, 45,000 kills, how about that? Pretty impressive when you want to think about it. And then I was attacked even more, and then this is two of my attacks. Look at that, 34,000. I even didn't even lost a march over here. And this player just beat me before, and let's see how did he do when he beat me, look at that. He was left with 11,000 because Guan Yu and Leonidas is pretty OP, but my Keira and YSG still done 38,000 kills. He did one, but hey, that was pretty marginal when you think about it. Going on to the Lost Canyon, I can show you some reports in the Lost Canyon as well. I've also failed to beat some of the players. As you're noticing over here, this is attacks that when you fail to beat some of the players. And yep, I got demolished. Nebuchadnezzar and YSG seems to be... Very OP, but I don't have Nebuchadnezzar, so I have to use my Keira. Going on this one, same thing, Nebuchadnezzar and YSG most likely is with legendary equipment, I'm guessing. 54,000 kills and demolished again because of one march. But I also have uh, successful attacks or successful defenses. So let's go ahead and look. You see Etherfed and Barca, Keira and YSG. And then again, successful defense, Keira and YSG, Etherfed and Barca. Keira YSG, Etherfled, and Barca. So it all depends on the options that you have. Imagine if you're in a KVK with Guan Yu is not available, you put Etherfled and Barca in the front, 
You put KR and YSG in the pack and you're pretty much going to be as solid as it can be. As a replacement for KRA, if you don't have KRA available, you can do YSG and Mehmed. It will give you similar results. Then again, I won on this one. <laughs> Look at that. KRA and YSG was the last March standing. This one was yikes. Look, KRA and YSG, 53,000 kills. Now imagine the RNG on this battle, how crazy it was and how much damage and skill damage KRA and YSG was able to put. You have to understand that you cannot make a setup in Sunset Canyon that would give you 100% guaranteed defenses all the time. This is not possible. You, you will never have that. Even if you have full legendaries, there's players that will always find ways how to beat you. But to have a setup that can help you defend maybe 70% of the times, that is possible. That is very possible. This is a defense again. Defense again. Look at that. K and YSG. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. And then again, Kera and YSG, I bet he got pissed off quite a lot getting beaten by Kera and YSG. And then it's a couple of my attacks because I just wanted to go up in rank. And this player was like, what the F? He just got my one rank up and he attacked me back, but it wasn't very successful. And again, Kera and YSG. So I believe that pretty much proves my theory and what I'm trying to show you in this video that Kaira was 100% underrated and you can definitely find ways how to use her at least in Sunset Canyon. Being an epic commander, I wish it would have been more accessible rather than Seroli. Because like I was saying at the beginning of the video, you can get 50 sculptures of her from the Seroli shop, but that kinda hurts you a little bit on speed ups and materials. So you have to sacrifice something if you really want to go for her. Now I show you everything there is to show. If you still have questions, then you definitely can drop them in the comment section below. Like I was mentioning, make sure you join the live stream because how this setup or how putting Ethelfred and Constantine in front of her will work. I'm definitely going to talk more on the live streams, but I just showed you options that what I used before. I'm showing you options, what I'm trying to use now and I will see if everything will work or what will work or if I will find a setup that will be unbeatable by everyone. Who knows? I'm just very hyped and super happy that Keira as a commander does have a utility, a very big utility in uh, Rise of Kingdoms. And I would strongly recommend her for KVK1, KVK2 if you manage to get her somehow. I believe that she will give you a lot of results. If you really want to pair her with something else, I don't really think so. And I know YSG is pretty universal and can be paired up with other marchers, but you've seen the results, right? I'm not just um, talking. I'm just giving you results and facts and the stuff that I'm using. Until next time, this is your boy Jeroni signing off. Peace out, yo, and take care. See you on the next one and stay safe out there, my friends.